Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, it is my great honor to address you today on the International Day of Older Persons. I am representing here the nonprofit sector. I'm the founder of Beauty of Health Foundation, which has been supporting and empowering all persons for the past 10 years. And I also became SDGs ambassador, who is promoting the concept of sustainable development goals in the Czech Republic. And taking aging and older persons into consideration within the Agenda 2030 and ICPD monitoring framework is actually something I would like to talk about. All of us here know that aging is a fact and that some countries have populations that are aging much faster than others. And this is due to low rates of fertility and high rates of outmigration. We have heard today quite several times that by 2050, many countries, including Czech Republic, will have close to one third of their population made up of people aged 60 years or over. The wisdom and experience all the persons have acquired over the years should be something to be cherished by younger generations. But too many older persons in our region lack the good health, skills, financial security, and social ties that would enable them to continue being active, contributing members of their communities while enjoying their golden years. And their struggles too often remain in the shadows, overlooked and unaddressed. Older women who outnumber older men in almost all countries are more likely to be poor and to live alone. Their male counterparts are more likely to suffer from ill health and to have a shorter life expectancy. Older persons in rural versus urban areas also face distinct challenges in terms of social isolation, access to healthcare, and other concerns. Improving the social care and well-being of older persons has benefits for all society, but many countries in our region lack the information they need to tackle these issues effectively. I would like to emphasize on this International Day of Older Persons the importance of making sure that data is disaggregated for age, including categories representing the very old age, 80 and above, so that all the people and their needs as well as their current and potential contributions to society become more visible. Without right indicators for different age categories within the Agenda 2030, we can't monitor and measure. And if we can't monitor, how could we know if situation of older people is actually improving? So from our experience from the field, only with a better collection and availability of data, we can ensure that human rights and dignity are fully realized for people all in all countries around the world and as a necessity as we strive towards building sustainable, resilient and inclusive societies for all ages. Thank you very much for your attention.